name's Rob Hawkins. Um, I did a case study on chronic lumbar pain, rehabilitation causes, and related issues. So this is an overview of what we're going to talk about. Um, we have uh, spinal anatomy, um, scoliosis, set dysfunction, and mutated pelvis, which is um, three uh, kids that my subject had, and then we're going to look at core musculature. So my subject um, was an 18-year-old competitive swimmer. Um, first day when she came in, or the, I guess the initial day, she uh, pretty much looked at looked at math, which she did um, her uh, e initial eval, and was like, "Look, I have scoliosis and set dysfunction." So we already knew what was wrong with her, and she made the comment that she'd been through physical therapy twice, and nothing's really uh, helped her or anything. Um, for the initial injury eval, um, it shows she, has, she had a uh, leg length discrepancy. Um, her apparent leg length, um, her right leg was an inch longer, but with true leg length, her right leg was an inch shorter. And then on the uh, long sitting test, um, her left malleolus was uh, further down or longer, and uh, which uh, suggested mutation. Um, her first day with me, we, um, we pretty much just did um, assess her strength, and um, she had she had a lot of problems, uh, <coughs> pain, just real, real, really just weakness with um, bridging and uh, planks and special sit-ups. Uh, I'm not going to go over much of spinal anatomy because we all know it, but mainly we're going to be talking about the uh, lumbar area, which is where most of her pain was, and then the thoracic where uh, her scoliosis was. Uh, for scoliosis, she uh, pretty much it's a the lateral, lateral curvature of the spine. Um, it can be an S or a C. <coughs> C is mostly um, within infants and smaller children, and S is usually with adults. Um, two types of scoliosis is a functional and structural. Um, my subject had functional. And it's where uh, usually the result of an injury or like a muscle imbalance or um, something like that, where the uh, spine compensates the body and tries to keep the head in a normal posi neutral position and keep the eyes level. Um, structural is more of a, uh, uh, a bone, uh, a defect in the bones in your ver vertebra. And um, a subcategory of that is uh, idiopathic. And um, there's really no uh, uh, cause for this, but they think it's linked by uh, hereditary uh, musculoskeletal and uh, neurological um, factors. Um, one way to measure scoliosis, and I didn't find this until after the rehab, but it's something called Cobb angle. And what you want to do, you want to find the apical um, vertebra, which is the middle and most displaced and rotated. And then you want to go superior and inferior to that vertebra and find the, uh, the end of the transitional vertebra, which are the least um, rotated and displaced. And on the inferior, you want to draw a line you want to draw a straight line on the bottom of that vertebra, and on the uh, superior, you want to draw a line on the top, and then you want to draw two perpendicular lines coming at each other, and then you want to measure that angle that they make in the middle. Um, usually, uh, scoliosis is not, um, not diagnosed unless the Cobb angle is over 10 degrees, but sometimes with uh, structural, Scoliosis, um, it, can, it can be diagnosed um, less than 10 degrees. Um, the set joints, 40% um, uh, of all back pain comes from set dysfunction. And set dysfunction pretty much is um, any kind of, uh, it can be a dislocation or subluxation or inflammation or even arthritis of the joint right here where the arrows are coming in and out of. Here. Um, and you can see, like the flexion here, the bones are going to be coming apart, and then the extension they're going to be 
compressing. So I mean, there's definitely room for uh, error there. Um, we also noticed she had a mutated pelvis. Um, pretty much her uh, left side was higher. So this is pretty much what her um, her <coughs> looked like. Um, with the uh, palpation, she uh, her left ASIS was higher than her right, and her left PSIS was lower than her right. Um, just some core musculature. These are the main muscles we worked on during rehab. Um, we have the paraspinals and the multifidus, the uh, rectus spinae. Um, in the obliques and the abs. There's just some exercises we went over or we went through. Um, most of these are, uh, these are, this is a combination of uh, stretching and strengthening. Um, most of the stretches were uh, both active and passive. Um, the results, um, the first day she came in, um, I measured her flexion which I just had her do a crunch on the table and I measured from her um, C7 spinous process um, to the table and it was 16 inches. Um, trunk extension was 15 centimeters from her uh, uh, clavicles to the, uh, to the table and then trunk rotation was 40 degrees to the right and 42 degrees to the left. Post rehab, um, her flexion increased uh, 18 centimeters, or excuse me, just two centimeters, 18. Um, trunk extension uh, went up five centimeters, and her rotation went up about 10 on each side. Um, conclusion, as a, result, as a result of the rehab, um, her, spine, her spinal deviation um, realigned. Um, she hadn't complained of back pain after probably two or three weeks through the rehab process. And um, overall, her core strength increased. Um, it was more like a visual thing because the first day, there were some exercises she wouldn't even do because her pain, it, was, it was too painful. And then she ended up doing these exercises with, in, with uh, added weight. Uh, any questions? Has she noticed like, any improvement, like improvement in her swimming? Um, she, had, she didn't really say. She just told me, you know, I don't have any pain. Yeah. But she still wins, so. There's <laughs> <laughs> one thing she made sure I knew. When she had this background the previous two times, when she left, it's kind of like this. That's something I really didn't ask her. She just said, I've been to the physical therapy twice, and nothing really happened. Well, I didn't really see. I don't really look into it. Do you think her swimming's the like reason why she got scoliosis for all the back problems she's having? Um, as far as I can tell, probably not. Um, the only thing I could have thought of that would cause her scoliosis and lower back pain would be like if she was on when she was on the blocks, about to jump in, how they have to kind of jump out and then kind of snap their back real quick. That could cause problems. That just carries a book bag on my shoulder. Traps are crazy. One strap. <laughs> well, she looks she looks full of How long was your rehab phase? Um six weeks. You said she started feeling better about two or three weeks in? Yeah, after like middle of like the third week she I kept I asked her every day. She came in like, you know, how's the back feel? What's your, you know, what's your pain level? And after that, she was just like, oh, it literally hurt or nothing. Did you have any compliance issues when she started feeling better? Did um, she stop coming in or not coming in when she was supposed to? Um, she always came in. So. Is she still continuing to do like exercises though to like continue not having pain? Um, I told her, I was like, you know, if you ever um, have pain again, just come talk to me, come talk to someone else, and we can do your exercises again. I mean, I told her she can like do these in her room or wherever if she needs to. Okay.